How's it going folks, Mr. Bass here, and today I'm going to break down and compare the three premier uh, subscription boxes that are out there on the market today. And what I've done is I've taken, <clears throat> this is bass fishing, because I'm Mr. Bass, and these are the three best bass boxes out there in my opinion, and I just want to break them down and compare them all. So. I'm not gonna go through each item by item. I do reviews of, of all the individual baits in here on separate videos, and I'll put links to those videos. But the purpose of this video is to show you how these three compare. And they're all the highest price box of each manufacturer. In my opinion, my favorite, the one I think is the best is Monster Bass. But this is personal opinion. Uh, there are a lot of people who like Lucky or Mystery the best. But in my opinion, I like Monster. So the Monster's <clears throat> uh, top box are called Regional Pro Boxes. This is the Midwest Regional Box that I, that I get every month. And it costs $35 a month. Then you have the Lucky Tackle Box Pro Tournament Box. And this costs $46 a month. And you'll kind of see why they charge a little more. And then you've got the Mystery Tackle Box Elite Box. So that's the three boxes. Oh, the, the, the Mystery Box is $39.99 a month. So right off the bat, Monster Bass has the best value as far as just cost. But value is in the eyes of the beholder, right? So next I'm going to break these open and kind of show you what you get and kind of spread them out on the table here and give you a comparison. So here we have them all three laid out uh, there before you. Mystery Tackle Box Elite Box, forty bucks, thirty nine ninety nine. Um, the Lucky Tackle Box Pro Box, which I think they've started changing the name to this. I think they call it now the Classic Extreme. But either way, Best Box forty six dollars, and Monster Bass Regional Pro thirty five dollars. So thirty five, forty, forty six. So this thing here is $11 more than Monster Bass. And then you got four bucks more. But you can kind of see the difference. Now, one thing that Monster Bass does that I really like, and that you can see this month, they've done a themed box. They've done Lunker Hunt themed box. All Lunker Hunt lures. And they give you a you know, kind of a breakdown of all the possible lures that you might get in your box. But if you know anything about tackle, Lunker Hunt is premium tackle. None of their stuff is cheap. So you get basically one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Lunker Hunt baits or lures, and they're all premium, premium for sure. And then they give you these hooks, which uh, three hooks, they're, they're you know, it's not Mustad, it's not uh, VMC, it's not Gamagatsu, but they're still basic good hooks, you know. I don't know what they, their value might be. Then let's skip Lucky for a minute and go over to Mystery, four bucks more. Uh, over there we said we had uh, one, two, three, two, four, six, seven baits plus hooks. On the, on the Mystery, you've got Two, four, six, eight, nine, plus a pack of hooks. So seven and one pack of hooks, nine and one pack of hooks. And then of course, Mystery gives you more technique stuff here. They give you this, this tips and tricks uh, little flyer, which uh, especially if you're new, is, is kind of nice. Frog Fishing 101, they tell you how to frog fish, and then uh, how to fish a swim jig in two minutes. And of course, in this box, you got a frog and you got a swim jig. So 
that's handy. Then to go along with these voodoo worms, they give you uh, a rigging guide on how to rig these these worms, um, and, and it's and it's extensive. You know, whether you use it as a trailer, use this Texas rig, shaky head, drop shot, and then they even kind of show you on a map areas you might want to fish it and, and different types. This is where you might want to fish the Texas rig or whatever. That's kind of handy. And then they do the same with the frog, with the Guggen frog. This is a great frog, the filthy frog, I'm sure is, is a great lure. They give you uh, pro tips. Always wait two seconds before you set the hook. They tell you what kind of gear to use. Uh, medium heavy to heavy action rod, fast action, high speed reel, braided line. And then they do the same thing. They give you a map to show you where you might want to target the frogs on a body of water. So this, what I would say, what I would say that mystery does a good job of is they're giving you a lot of instruction, teaching along with the lures. That, and and that's, that can be helpful, especially if you don't know much about, about what you're fishing. Okay, then you get over to $46. Um, their top box. Now, if you look, let's count these. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12 lures, plus a pack of hooks and some... Uh, uh, willow leaf blades. Looks like a lot. Uh, 12, 12 lures versus 8 versus, versus 7. Uh, but the thing that annoys me about this box is what do you notice right off the bat? Two ugly otters. Two senche, uh crankbaits. Two crave rattle traps. Two stellar swim jigs, two clear cut spinner baits, two packs of ribbon tails. So even though you're getting a larger quantity, you're only getting one, two, three, four, five, six different lures. Even Monster uh, at, at the low end gives you more lures as far as types of lures than the big boys do. All they do is just give you two of each in a different color. And to me, I don't like that. Uh, one, I want I want a variety. If I'm paying an extra 46 bucks, and I'm literally paying 11 bucks more than this and five bucks more than this or six bucks more than this, I want 12 different lures. I don't want the same. And, and here's another reason why. Premium top quality lures pretty premium top quality lures i mean here you got a bill lewis rattle trap that's high quality guggen frog that's high quality uh maybe some of these swim baits could be considered high quality lake, lake fork is definitely a real lure company out there um but they throw in some of their own baits you know like the carl's baits which is fine it's not to downgrade Carl's baits, they're okay too. But <clears throat> at least they're giving you a variety. Here you're getting less, they just give you more. And where that really sucks is let's say you hate this lure or hate that lure, you're suddenly out four. You got four worthless lures. Where if it's all if there's only one that you one type you don't like or that you don't fish, you can throw it out. Um so that's 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 that. You got to make up your own mind. Now, one thing I will say about Lucky as well, they do a pretty good job of education as well. They almost always have a book like this, and it's a good book. This one's based on summer fishing, and they're calling this the summer fishing box. You know, that's another thing that I, that kind of bugs me. Summer fishing, and there's not a single top water in this box. Why would there not be a top water lure? summer fishing. Now worms make sense, you know, uh, but th that's the kind of thing that I don't, I don't know. I could, no frogs, summer fishing, no frogs. I mean, that 
I, it kind of makes you wonder what they what they were thinking. But their books are good. Targeting fresh grass, five summertime baits that work, the basics of kayak fishing, tips from the bank. So they're, they're definitely giving you some education. But look at, look at this. This is kind of funny here. Here are the five summertime baits that work. Football jig. Is there a football jig in here? No. They give you a swim jig. Hollow body frog. Hollow body frog? No, there's not one. Walking topwater bait. Any walking topwater baits? No. Swim bait. The best way to... Are there any swim baits? No. Big worm. Are there any big worms? Yes. Seven inch worm now. In the summer, you ought to go 10 inch. But literally, that's another thing that blows me away. This is supposed to be the summer fishing box and they don't give you any summertime lures. Makes no sense. Uh, <clears throat> so, for me, that you can probably tell, my least favorite is Lucky. Lucky, I just, I love Gambler lures though. I mean, these I love, I love the Gambler lures. The rest of these are just knockoffs, if you will. They're not even real brands. I mean, and I don't mean to insult someone. If you're, a, if you love Craig Bates, and, I, and you can tell these aren't super cheap knockoff, but they're just not the same as this. Every one of these, top quality. You know, in the month before, they did like a Strike King box. And the month before, they did a Pro box, you know, Jason Christie Pro. These guys know what they're doing to satisfy the fishermen, in my mind. <clears throat> now, if you're just into quantity and you want as much as you can get, Lucky's the way to go. I would definitely agree that Lucky's the way to go. And if you want something kind of in the middle, mystery. They all got their pros and cons. Now, one thing that I will say that's that's nice about all these boxes is they're gonna every every month you're gonna get something from a box that surprises you that you would never pick out yourself. So let me show you. <clears throat> On the monster, what what did they send me that I would never pick out? First is this Yappa rat. Now I actually have a yappa rat, but I don't have a purple bellied one or a pink pink bellied one. I would never get a pink bellied yappa rat. I wouldn't do that. Well now I've got one so I'll try it and it might work and it might be great. Um, so that's an example there. What about here? Something I would never try. I would never try this. It's called a clear cut spinner bait with a vibrating blade on the front, like a chatterbait blade. To me, that looks hokey, stupid, ridiculous. And of course, I got two of them now that don't interest me. Now, I wouldn't buy them, but who knows, I might go out and fish this and it might be the best thing since sliced bread. I might be like, holy cow, thank goodness they sent me this. I never would have tried that. So that's one there. And then over here, Something I probably would not try over here is this little uh, live forage swim bait from Northland Tackle. Just because to me, this, this just doesn't look like something I would throw down here. Not that I am opposed to small swim baits, but now I could try this and it might, it, might, uh, it might be my new favorite lure. So that's a great thing about these boxes. But as you can see with each of the three, three boxes here, uh, very different philosophies for each one, and you got to kind of make up your own mind. Is it worth the money? Now, if you can't afford 35 or 40 or 46 and you want cheaper, uh, most of these guys have a cheaper model. Monster Bass has like a $25 model. I know Mysteries Basic Box is $19.99. I can't remember what Lucky's is, but it's around that $20 range, I'd say, most likely. And that might be a way where if you only wanted one each of these, one of those lower boxes, that's what you're going to get. Just one pack of Ugly Otters. Ugly Otters are great, by the way. These are super lures. I've caught tons of fish on these. A great flipping bait. Great, make great trailers. The ribbon tail worms are great. So definitely don't want to totally knock Lucky. Lucky does have some good lures. Now I'm going to break down and show you every item in each of the boxes in case that's what you wanted to see in this video. 
If you just wanted to see a comparison like I did, you can say sayonara, adios, and on your way. Because I also do individual videos on each of these boxes, but because the video is already up and I'm already here, I'm gonna go ahead, zoom in a little closer and show you uh, the details of each box. Let's start with Lucky, and we'll have to make this quick. Two packages of Ugly Otters. Good flipping bait. Two packages of Gambler 7-inch Ribbon Tail Worms. Two Crankbaits, Senshi 5 and Craw and Silver Run. Two Crave Baits, Lipless Crankbaits, and Fire Tiger and Bonehead. Two clear cut spinner bait with a blade on it. And these are called the CS6000. One in Chartreuse Ghost, the other in Threadfin Ghost. Okay. Well, leaf blades. Must add treble hooks. Two stellar jigs, swim jigs, half ounce. Don't know the colors, they don't say. All right, so that is lucky. Move on to mystery. Mystery, a pack of tickle tail worms. The Yodo worm, tickle tail worm. That's the sun gill color. The Stanley mud puppy. Black and blue. The Northland Tackle Live Forage Swim Bait. That's the Silver Shiner. The Guggen Filthy Frog. That's Bullfrog color. Lake Fork Trophy Lures. Green Pumpkin. Ringtail worm of some kind. I don't know the name of it. Bill Lewis crankbait in Silverado color, the MR6. A lifted jig, swim jig, red gill is the color, quarter ounce. Daiichi uh, EWG hooks, two. Death Wish. Swim baits. Pretty nice looking color. And villain baits, young gun line through swim baits. This is clear water blue. All right, that's your mystery box. And then the monster lunker hunt box. You've got uh, these lunker hunt. Flipping baits, kind of like a beaver. I don't know what they call it. You got the Lunker Hunt stick bait, Cinco. You got the Lunker Hunt popping frog. And this is herring color. You got the Lunker Hunt phantom spider in huntsman color. The Lunker Hunt Gambit Swim Bait, 5 eighths of an ounce. Sassy is the color. You got the Lunker Hunt Yappa Rat in this crazy color I was telling you about called Toxic. It's bright. You got the Lunker Hunt Distress 6F, which is a jerk bait, golden color. And you got Diachi EWG hooks as well. And then Lunker Hunt also gives you a couple of stickers. Uh, the Monster Bass box does. Cool Monster Bass sticker. And a decent Lunker Hunt, although it's black and white. It'd be nice if it was color. That's it. That's the three top dog boxes. I hope this was helpful. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope this was what you were looking for. 
If not, please leave me comments uh, below and I will try to fix it next time. If you did enjoy it, please subscribe. Please share these videos. Hit that bell for a notification next time. And until next time, this is Mr. Bass. Happy fishing.